I wanted to talk about the uh, tax bills that we all got last week. Um, some of us were pretty surprised. Our, our tax rates went up, or not our tax rates, but our tax bills went up pretty significantly. So I imagine you're hearing from people in the neighborhood and in the city. What are you hearing from them? I hear, I hear a lot of concern about general affordability, about people's ability to stay in the city, um, concern for where things are, are headed. Um, yeah, there's a, lot of, uh, there's a lot of pain, clearly, with this tax reassessment. And why did it take so long for the city to do this assessment, reassessment? It seems like it was overdue. You know, I have heard that, but I'm not aware of other towns in Vermont doing this differently. And I may just not be aware of that, but the state of Vermont requires us to do a reassessment when we get um, out of alignment with market value by a certain amount. Um, so they have their benchmarks that they're looking for that will trigger a reassessment. And then when the that reassessment is triggered, then we uh, spend the big bucks and it is a very expensive endeavor. So I don't think municipalities uh, take, it, take it lightly to do a reassessment. This was a two year process, um, cost millions of dollars. So it's not something we want to do when we don't need to. And you also have another life in the real estate world. How would you characterize the property values and the sort of the trend line in Burlington for residential and commercial property? Well, I've been selling real estate for over 10 years. And during that time, Burlington has never had much inventory. Um, and then there's always this expectation that we're, oh, well, if we just wait a few more months, more inventory is going to come online. It hasn't happened in 12 years. Um, and then during COVID, I think, uh, personally, I kind of expected things to soften a little bit. I didn't think that people would want to be out shopping for houses um, but it turns out people did want to shop for houses and not a lot of people wanted to sell their houses. So demand increased, supply did not. Um, people wanted more space because they were in their houses more. So people who had been happy in smaller spaces now wanted bigger spaces. Um, as we all know, there's also pressure coming from out of state. So um, this year, even more than last year, the market has been painfully intense, I would say, um, with most things, uh, you know, a realtor will price it above what we think the, the comps show us, and then the market will push it far above that. What about the um, people who are experiencing 20, 30, 40% tax increases on their homes? What, what can the city do for them? Can they get relief? Now, nearly 70% of our property taxes are education uh, taxes. And for the education portion of your tax bill, there is relief that is you know, related to your income. Um, I think the dollar amount changes every year, but it's in the range of, a, if you're making less than $140,000 a year, you are eligible for income sensitivity on your taxes that can give you some tax relief. And I have been surprised um, that many people actually aren't availing themselves of that. And that's really important. So when you file your homestead claim um, on your income taxes, you also need to apply for this property tax credit. So you're seeing people that haven't, that are eligible, but have not applied for it? Yes. I think I've misunderstood what revenue neutral means. Yes, we, we often make the quick claim that, um, that the taxes are revenue neutral and that's mostly accurate. It's not completely accurate. So if they were completely revenue neutral and um, we had a tax base of a million dollars and we needed to generate $10,000 out of that million dollars, then when our, when our grand list goes up to $2 million, the tax rate would be cut in half so that we still only generate $10,000 from that grand list. So 
um, after reappraisal, um, reappraisal for the municipal side of the budget um, was generating about $34 million. I'm not the best remembering numbers, but these, so take these as rough numbers, but it was about a $34 million municipal revenue that increased to 35.7 million. We have we have about 1.7 million dollars in additional revenue, but that is because the voters actually voted for a tax increase. So a million dollars of that is the voters voted for that million dollars of increased revenue. And then about $500,000 of that is something that the, the rate will adjust, um, but it's what's, dri what's driving that rate is what we need for the retirement fund. So the retirement fund, funding the retirement fund is based on how the fund did. It's not really based on what our tax base is or anything else. It's how did the fund do? And what does the city of Burlington need to put in that fund to make it whole? So that is a dollar amount that will then be translated into a rate. So we have a $500,000 increase for the retirement fund and about $200,000 is distributed over, over some other funds that um, are not completely revenue neutral. Something like that we voted and, and the taxpayers have voted for them when we vote for a penny for parks, um, that is not a revenue neutral tax. However, we did not increase that tax as much as we could have. So we still have room in the approved, voter approved tax rate um, to raise that more. So we raised some additional revenue through penny for parks. Um, but we didn't raise it to the extent that we could have raised it. And also those are much smaller figures within the overall budget. And I don't think that that's really what people are feeling. What people are feeling is the redistribution of the tax burden. That is the primary reason that somebody's taxes are going up 20, 30 or 40% or more. Mine went up more. So that's, that is because certain areas of the city um, the market has increased their value more than other areas of the city. And one of those shifts is from commercial property to residential property, but there's also shifts within residential property and from neighborhood to neighborhood. So the value of commercial property has gone down in relation to the value of residential property. Is that what you're saying? I would not say that anything has gone down, but that it has gone, uh, it hasn't gone up as much relative to other properties. And what's so the, if the sort of the famous city um, is 60% increase and your property value only increases 20%, you're going to actually see uh, a tax decrease, um, but your assessment still goes up. So just remind taxpayers, if they need relief, what's the process now? So we went through one level of appeal and for two thirds of residential property owners, they saw no change, which to me is problematic. Um, when, the, when you bring new information there should be a change. It, it might not be a big change and it might go up rather than down, which isn't what you're hoping for, but new information will result in some change. And the fact that two thirds of the property taxpayers got no change in my view is problematic and something that once we get through this process, we need to be looking at that. So if you're among those or you didn't like the results of that appeal, you could appeal again, but the deadline for that appeal was July 22nd. Um, some people got their tax bills after that. I know for myself, we didn't get any mail. Um, for some reason, our mail wasn't delivered for two days. So the tax bill for some people came after that deadline. Um, the, the tax bill, even though that does incentivize people to appeal. 
you're not appealing the tax bill, you're appealing your value. And if you don't think you can sell your home for that much, that is a reason to appeal the value. The fact that the taxes are high are unfortunately not a reason to appeal the value. Um, you can appeal the taxes themselves, but that I will say, unless the city did something wrong, or unless you can prove that you actually cannot pay those taxes, which is a very high bar, um, you are not likely to get relief through that process. So the, um, the next step is next, if you feel that you are not assessed fairly, you can appeal next year. But we have nearly 700, I am on the Board of Tax Appeals, as you said, our volunteer citizen body has almost 700 um, appeals to go through and we have to get through that by the end of December. So it's gonna be extraordinarily difficult for us to, um, to accomplish that goal in the time frame that we have. Cause I did consider like, you know, could we extend this for people? But I don't think we have the ability to open this back up and attract more appeals. We're gonna be extremely challenged to, to do what we have on our plate now, but the window opens again next year. So people can challenge the value of their home in 2022 for the July 1st tax bill. Correct. Yeah. yeah. Okay. The other thing that will happen is that through the appeals that we're hearing now, um, that will only like say um, if you appeal the value of, of your property and you get your property adjusted and your neighbor has an identical house with an identical lot, but their value is still high. Um, the tax assessor is going to be looking for those kind of situations so that the adjustment gets made in, in other places. So for we're in tax year 22 now is the tax bills you just got. Uh, you're going to be stuck for this year. But next year, you may find that the tax assessor makes an adjustment even without your appeal to make it more fair with your neighbor because you have identical properties. I understand. Well, but that'll be a process over time. So thank you for all your work on this. I know you've gotten a lot of feedback. And as you said, the Board of Tax Appeals is a, another task on top of being a city councilor and on top of having a job. So thank you for your service to the city. And thanks for taking a minute to explain just on a pretty high level what's happening with the tax bills and the tax rate. Well, thank you so much, Lauren Glenn, for the opportunity to share some information with a lot of people I know are very concerned. Yeah, thanks so much. Have a great week. You too.